Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a really cool new feature in Unreal Engine 5.6 that makes live link motion capture so easy. So in this little example here, I've got Shogun Post running. This is my Vicon uh, capture and it is data streaming. And that data stream is, you know, doing our live link stuff, which is, you know, okay, that's fine. But the nice thing here is that the skeletal mesh has no animation blueprint whatsoever. It was just drag out the mesh and then live link starts working with the addition of a brand new component that it is part of Unreal Engine 5.6's performance capture workflow. So let's uh, start from the beginning and take a look. Uh, number one, I'm running 5.6 and I have the performance capture plugins activated. So there's a performance capture core and a performance capture workflow. Both of these are activated. I also, I'm going to use Vicon. So I have my Vicon plugin installed and that's ready to go and of course I have uh, live link activated so those plugins need to be activated for this to work with that in place I have a Shogun post running right here and if I hit play and make sure it loops uh, I can play this back and I have my data streaming activated so this character is being streamed under Vicon standard and therefore the plugin here in Unreal will be able to receive it now now, this stage here, this little truss is really just part of the uh, performance capture plugin. What we really want to focus on here is going to be this really cool feature that lets us do live link characters really easily. So the first thing I want to do is bring in my Vicon actor. So I did create a folder empty uh, called Vicon. I'll right click and I'll import my Vicon actor. Now this is the FBX file. I moved it into my downloads, but uh, just as reference, if you have a Vicon system and you want that, it's under your program files, Vicon, whichever Shogun version you're using, uh, and uh, configuration, and then skins. And there's the Vicon actor. So I moved that into my downloads directory and um, now I can import that into Unreal. I will go ahead and import that. And so we've got our skeletal mass, our skeleton, our material, textures, and a physics asset. So control shift S to save all of that. All I need for this performance to work is the Vicon actor skeletal mesh. So this is not, you know, actor in terms of Unreal Engine's words. This is just the name of the file that I imported. So I'll drag that actor into place and I'll zero him out. So he's in zero, zero, zero to match the uh, stage. Now, again, uh, this uh, is playing and looping. So, you know, here we go where this is playing in Shogun. So I can set up live link to listen to that. So I'll go to Windows, Virtual Production, and Live Link. And we'll add, in this case, a Vicon streaming source. This is running on the same local computer. So I'll create that. And there's the character subject coming in. And we've got a green light. So that is good. So now, <laughs> this is the awesome sauce. We're going to add a component to the Vicon actor. And the component we're going to add is performer. So P-E-R-F. And it's a performer component. This is the magic. Uh, all we have to do is uh, let's give this uh, Vicon John one and a uh, subject name, click the drop down and John one. And that's it done. No animation blueprints, no configurations, nothing. Uh, that data is streaming in perfectly now. And uh, we're not running at all. We are just in editor. Oh, but if you do want it to run uh, when you're, you've run a build, yep, it's working still. So here's uh, running an editor and we are still getting our live link. So that is the magic of the performance capture workflows performer component. Uh, all you have to do is drag that performer component into your actor, or I'm sorry, add it onto your skeletal mesh actor, and you are good to go with Live Lake. So I hope this helps. I'll have a future tutorial on how you can use this with a skeletal mesh for a custom character that you want to retarget your uh, Vicon character onto. I hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.